Hey everybody! Today's video is about my trip to the Hokkis Temple in Ikaruga Town and the Kofuku's Temple in Nara City. Both are in Nara Prefecture. The Hokkis Temple was part of Japan's first ever entry into the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list in 1993, and Kofuku's Temple was part of another entry into the same list in 1998. Oh, and it's also got to do with Danta noodles and tonsu. Okay, let me start with Hokkiji. Japan sent two cultural sites to the UNESCO list for the first time in 1993. One of them was the Himeji Castle and the other was the Horyuji Temple, accompanied by the Hokkiji Temple. Shameless plug, Horyuji was the subject of my previous video and Himeji Castle the video before that. The official name for the inscription that includes Hokkiji is the Buddhist monuments in the Horyuji area. It comprises 48 ancient wooden structures, most of which are at the Horyuji Temple and others at the Hokkiji Temple nearby. Horyuji is a must-see, there's no question about that. It's just 40 minutes from Osaka and has such significance in Japanese history. However, whether or not you should also visit the Hokkiji Temple is debatable in my opinion. Unless you have a car or a bicycle, it's a 20 minute walk from Horyuji to Hokkiji and you'll be pretty tired by the time you reach Hokkiji. I mean I was. So whatever you plan to do afterward may be compromised. Having said that, that very walk is a pleasant one, weather permitting. Also, if you rent a bicycle near the Horyuji train station, which I'm told by Google Maps you can, then you can use the bike to visit both Horyuji and Hokkiji. That seems like an alright plan, cutting the cost of the bus rides to and fro between the Horyuji station and the Horyuji temple and getting easy access to the Hokkiji temple as a bonus. After Hokkiji, my original plan was to walk back to Horyuji, but like I said, my legs and feet were fatigued. So I improvised and took a bus from Hokkiji to Kofukuji in Nara City. After an hour of bus ride, I was in Nara and I had a cup of butter coffee which I don't recommend. I'm into new recipes and everything, but butter coffee just didn't do it for me. Chai would have been great instead. And of course, who knows better what is good than the deer in Nara Park. They are wildlife and the earliest document of their existence can be found in Manyo Shu, the oldest anthology of Japanese poems from 750. There's also a folk legend which tells that a god enshrined at Kasuga Taisha arrived riding one of them. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You wanna ride one when you go there too, right? The deer is a natural monument designated by the national government. So you can't do anything that would hurt or offend them. Riding them is most likely a no-no. Although brushing them gently is totally fine. In terms of feeding them, you must only feed them the Shika Senbei, which is an official deer treat produced from rice bran and flour. Everything else is prohibited as it might cause them to stay or addiction. Finally, after an unsatisfying hot drink and a little too much brushing at a natural monument, I arrived at the Kofukuji Temple, whose origin dates back to 669. The five-story pagoda at the temple is 50.1 meters tall and is the second tallest wooden five-story pagoda in Japan. It was originally built in 730 but was lost due to fire several times. The pagoda that we see today was built in 1426. To be honest, I still think the pagoda at Horyuji is my favorite, but this one looks great too, and it's free to come see this while Horyuji charges you 1500 yen, and there are deer around the side, which is super cute. This is the Eastern Golden Hall, known as Tokondo, which was originally built in 726. Just like the pagoda though, it got lost to fire several times, and the one standing today was built in 1415. The roof of this building is of the Yosemune type, as opposed to Kiritsuma or Irimoya types. Yosemune roofs were considered the noblest in the Nara period, which was when this hall was conceived. You have an option of going inside by paying 300 yen, which seems fine, but I didn't because they don't allow you to take photos or videos there. Like, no photos? What's the, what is the point then? Anyway, it was getting darker and it was getting hungrier by the minute. After all, the amazing kake no hazushi near Horuji was delicious but not massive or anything. So I started heading towards the restaurant I found on Google Maps in the Naramachi neighborhood. The restaurant is called Nakamachi Terasu Shokudo Mitsuya, but, but I'll just cut it down to Mitsuya here, okay? From the reviews, I learned their chicken noodle bowl is super popular, so that's what I was aiming for. However, they said it had already been sold out during the lunch hours, so I ordered dandan noodles instead, as well as tsonsu as a side dish. By the way, dandan noodles is called tantanmen in Japanese, and tsonsu is called chimaki. 
If you say Danda noodles to Japanese people, I'd like to hope you'll be understood maybe 10% of the time. But if you say Tsonsu, no one will understand you. So let's remember it has a very Japanese name and that's Jimaki. The recipe for Danda noodles originates in Sichuan, China, the birthplace of many spicy dishes. In Chinese, Dan means to carry on the shoulder, and this recipe is called Dandan because it was invented by a merchant who carried his foods and equipment on a shoulder pole, baby. The Japanese Tantan member typically calls for spicy soup, spicy oil, minced pork, and chopped vegetables. From what I read on the web, and this means it's a piece of info with limited credibility, the original recipe back in Sichuan didn't have much soup in the bowl, but the Japanese soupy version was introduced by a chef Chen Jianming on TV in the 1960s and 70s. The Tantan Men also tends to have a strong flavor of ground sesame, presumably added in order to compensate for the reduced spice. Tsao is a traditional Chinese rice dish made with glutinous rice, as opposed to the normal kind of rice which you see most of the time. I said glutinous, but it doesn't mean it contains gluten, it doesn't. But it's glutinous meaning super sticky, like glue, wow! The sticky rice is wrapped in bamboo leaves with other ingredients before getting steamed. The variation I'm having here contains mushroom and pork. I said earlier that the Japanese name for Tsonsu is Chimaki, right? Sorry, that was a bit of a mistake. Strictly speaking, it's called Chinese Chimaki here. <laughs> chimaki alone would usually mean something similar but different. And that would be steamed rice flour, as in rice cake, served as sweet. So when Chimaki is made like the one you see here, with meat and everything, and it's savory rather than sweet, it has to be called Chinese Chimaki. Anyway, this tonsu was definitely amazing. I'll come back to the Mitsuya restaurant in Nara to have it again in the future, man! Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and make me feel good about myself. Have a nice one. Ciao!